Hi everyone, today I got another Blender quick tip for you guys. Um, I was asked how you would go about opening um, images inside of uh, Blender. And I'm going to show you guys. So I just set my scene back to uh, the default scene. And I'm going to show you guys um, how to import um, images as planes, how to load them up as a background and also how to load them in the UV image editor. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this cube. So I'm going to press X and delete. Let's press in, start screencast. And uh, let's go 64. And 58. And I'm going to go ahead and move this over here. All righty. So the first thing you need to do is go to file, user preferences, and then in your add-ons folder, just type in uh, plane, and you'll get this message images as planes, and that's, I need to figure out what that is, but import images as planes, just go ahead and tick that on, and uh, click save user settings, and then we'll go ahead and I'm going to press one and then five to go, go into orthographic mode. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this in Blender render and in cycles render. So you just want to press shift a and uh, click on import images as planes. And I'm in Blender render right now. And so it'll take you to your files and you just need to click on the image you want to upload and then come down here and you'll see material settings. Let me go ahead and make those bigger real quick and scroll down here you'll see material settings and these are the settings that you'll want to tick for uh, blender render you click on shadeless and Z transparency and just go ahead and click on import images as planes and now you'll see that you got the image in there but it's laying flat on the grid floor so we'll go back to one on the front mode and we'll press R for rotate and then X on the X axis and then nine zero to rotate it 90 degrees. And then I'll just go ahead and press S and scale it up a little bit. And so now if we go press Z and go into material mode, you'll see that you get your image in there and you could have this as a background image or um, if you like to model with the plane in here like this, I don't like doing it that way. I'll show you guys a different way. But that's how you get it into Blender Render. So I'm going to press X and then delete. And then I'm going to switch over to Cycles. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to press Shift A. And then uh, add images as planes. And we're going to click on the image. And then you'll see that the materials change for Cycles. And uh, for this one, you want to click. You could do Diffuse and Transparent if you'd like. But I always do Emission and Transparent. And just go ahead and click import images as planes. And we're going to do the same thing. So press R and then X on the X axis to constrain it. And then 9, 0 for 90. And then just press S and scale it up. And there you go. You got your image in your scene. So we're going to go ahead and press X and delete that out. That's how you get an image in the scene that way. And then another way to do it is you go ahead and change one of your windows to the UV image editor and you just come down here and you tick on open and go and find your image and there it is and just go ahead and open the image and now you'll see it is down there in your UV image editor and so now it will be let's say if I press shift a and just add a plane and scale it up just a little bit now if you go over here and add a new material and you just go ahead and we switch over here to the node editor real quick. You'll see that now, move this up a little bit. We can go shift A and then go to texture and then image texture. And you don't have to open the image again. You just open right here and you'll see that it's in here and you just tick on it. And if I go ahead and scale this up just a little bit more, tab into edit mode press U and then just unwrap that and then tab back into object mode. And now if I just tick that in there, you'll see that it pops up. So scale on the X axis 
and there it is that's another way to get your image textures in there and the last way to go ahead and load some images in here is say if you are wanting a reference image to model just go ahead and press in on your panel to open your panel up over here and you'll yours will probably look like this and you'll just want to come down to background images and tick it on and then open it up and then click on add image and then just click on open but your image will already be in here but i'll just click on open to show you the process and then you just go back up here and you find your image and go ahead and open it now you'll see that it says that the axes is all views and you'll notice that you can't see it here you got to go into uh, either front side top back bottom mode and you got to be in orthographic mode if we're in perspective mode you won't see it so press 5 to go into orthographic mode and now you'll see it there and we're in front view now and we can change it and to just be on front or back um, bottom top uh, all views or just to view it in the camera and that is totally up to you guys and you got some options here too uh, you could go ahead and change the size of this if you'd like. You could go ahead and move it on the axes, on the X and the Y. You could do stretch, fit, crop, uh, the opacity. You could make it full opacity if you'd like. Let's see. So right now, if I press 3, you'll see it in all view 7, top view. And so if I just change this back to front view, you'll see it go away. And then now I could click one and go in the front view and see that. And then all you have to do is go ahead and click on add another image and just click on open. You could even do movie clips if you'd like and just click on open and find another image. Uh, I'll just open a texture image real quick. It's something. I don't know. We'll open this image here. Press open. And you'll see that it's on all views too. So we could change this uh, image to, let's say, right. And so we'll go to three and we'll need to change this image down here. This quick tips image, we'll need to change this to front. And so now you have this image to model on side view, right side view, and then front view, you have this one and this one's back to all views so we want to change that back to right and there you go and now you'll have your model references and then like i said you can move them around to sort of kind of line them up and then all you have to do is just go ahead and oops i'm in side views so rx90 RZ90 and we'll just go ahead and you can just go ahead and start modeling just like that and you just start modeling your your plant or whatever it is you want to model so it's that simple so I hope you guys enjoyed this blender quick tip um, I was asked how you would go about importing images and most of the time when you just go to your UV image editor and you import to that image, um, it will be in there everywhere. So you won't have to go through and re-import it. But anyways, that is how you go ahead and add images. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tip video. I know I said this uh, a couple of times already. Please like and subscribe for tons more tutorials and have a great day. Thank you.